Here's a video of a solar panel that I've had for a while. I want to show you some things it can do. Now the best way to get a panel to pick up the maximum amount of sun is to angle it into the sun. Now here's a simple way to angle something in the sun without having to stare at the sun and guess roughly where the sun is. So we pick up the panel and you can see behind the panel is a shadow. So turn the panel around until the shadow is in line with the panel, which is about there. And then you tilt the panel back until the shadow is the longest on the ground. You see the shadow is getting longer, now it's getting shorter, longer, shorter, longer. So the perfect angle to have the panel is about there. Now for the main part of this video, we can actually run this orange guitar amp off of the sun. Now the input on here is DC 18 volts and to get the full power you need 0.8 amps and the polarity is central negative. I have this cigarette lighter adapter socket and I've got a DC plug on the end but the problem is this adapter has central positive on it and as you've already seen the amp is central negative and this car cigarette lighter goes into here and so to reverse the polarity what I've done here is I have these two crocodile clips and I have the negative crocodile clip to connect it to the positive on the cigarette lighter and the positive crocodile clip connected to the negative on the cigarette lighter adapter. So now, when this runs back to the solar panel, I should have the center pin of this be negative when I plug it into the amp. Now, as with all things electrical, it's a good idea to test your voltage to see if it's the right way around so you don't blow things up. And um, there I've got the output, the outer skin of the plug going to the com, and I've got the inner skin, the inner prong, going to the volt ohms milliamp plug, and it is reading minus 19.3 volts. This will um, fluctuate slightly according to the sunlight, but this. Um, it's about the right voltage of the amp, it's slightly higher, but it will bog down when you turn the amp on when it's drawing a load. I've just turned the amp on now, and as I can confirm, the voltage has dropped to minus 18.3. And, um, what's there? So, yes, it is drawing a bit of current. The current drawn by this amplifier, and it's switched on, but I'm not playing any guitar for it, is... 94 milliamps, it's about 100 milliamps just doing nothing but as I plug the guitar in the current will get higher and um, on this particular day it's quite sunny although the sun does go in and out a little bit so it does limit the maximum volume of the amplifier but as you see, when you see me playing the guitar the current will rise The left indicator is the voltage of 18.59 and the current is on the right meter at um, 0 0.1 amps. So as I play the guitar you can watch the voltage drop and the current increase. Now you 
you see you get up to about 0.4 of an amp there, 0.45 of an amp, and the voltage drops to um, around 14 volts. So you could see um, if you put another panel on there, you could probably reach full power. But as it is, it gets quite loud, which is why I'm only doing a few um, little riffs because my neighbours can probably hear it loud and clear. It's quite a strong panel, it's pulling about 14 volts on the dip and 0.45 of an amp. So that's about seven about seven watts. And um, it's a 15 watt panel, but this is Britain, so we don't get the same sun as we do, you know, nearer the equator in um, our cousins over the USA. But 7 watts it's more than enough for a, a barbecue rock concert.